right. Well, I'm showing you what I'm seeing just driving in and it looks not to butt stacked like normal years. So let's get out and walk around and see what we see. Right, while I'm sitting here in the truck, this is where I'm going to park. I'm going to get out and about, and uh, I'm over at Tri-State Auction in uh, Elgin, Pennsylvania. The old Corey Drive-In for some of you local yokels. And it uh, looks like he's got a tractor lineup. That's pretty much what I cover at auctions is the tractors and a few relevant implements that, that go with the tractors that I'm looking at or looking for. And I just shoot from the hip here. I'm looking around, and I don't see anything that I'm personally interested in. But walking can change that real quick because you see something you, you don't see sitting in the truck. So let's go have a look, see what he's got for tractors. This auction will be 9 a.m. Saturday, I believe the 22nd of April. Uh, whenever Saturday is, you let me know. All right, first things first, we've seen a lot of these sell over the past couple years. 340 gas, uh, item number... And you can bid online here. That's item 36. Um, front skins, not that great. Rear skins, not that great. Um, yeah, okay, they are matching, not that great. <laughs> but it's a tractor. It's got the fenders and everything with it. Something happened here. They were probably brush hogging or something. And looks like somebody tried to get most of the dents out of it. Paint is, um, I don't want to explain it. It's not a professional paint job but it's it it's decent from a distance this this to me if you know if everything checks out on this tractor this is just a tractor it's a field tractor and let's just keep walking and gawking um carved air cleaner hose nobody knows when it was put on there but um sediment bull's doing its job because there is sediment in the bottom at the old ta right here and Ready for a ready for a loader. Newer seat, tractor supply style seat, but at least it does have armrests on it. Alright, and hours. Hours are at least what this reads. 4406. Um yeah, that's probably been rolled. Who knows? Who really knows? You know, machines get this old and it's like anything's possible. Fast hitch. Um, battery's not in a box. It is being held down by a makeshift bar. So I don't know, you know what outside of aesthetics that's that's held down. But yeah. With the old fast hitch hitch. And it does have the fenders. Fender guitar. You know, it's just a matter of really hearing it start and run. And I mean, it's a gas, or it's probably going to start. One thing's for sure, it's not going to need ether. In the event that it does start, and serial number is 559, and then it has an S right there. So, whatever year that is, you tell me, and we'll both know. That is for sure. There's no weights or anything on it, but it's here. Pretty basic, got a new chimney up there. IH3 chimney, probably right out of tractor supply, but there you go. All right, this is what I'm calling tractor row. Okay, and I'll zoom in just a hair, give you an idea. There's a magenta of colors here, so let's just kind of walk and talk. Most of these newer type tractors, I'm gonna skip. Um, I got a 6145R there. Got an 8640. That looks pretty beefy. Case IH here. Got a small loader tractor there. Now we got a 4840. And uh, that, that's where I'll start right there. Yep, item 807, 4840. And these steers are ridiculous. 
I mean, they're the size of a utility tractor's drives, Firestone. Uh, skin on the rear is probably, I don't know, 20%, 25%. Something like that, like, you know, the percent most you've got on tests in high school, 25%. Um, it's like he had some hubs on there. Big old beefy Cat 3 hitch. My word, he's got enough remotes to run a city here. Three remotes in the rear. He's even got that going on. Yeah, rust prevention, but I'm sure that's from when they pop, you know, the hoses out and disconnect. So, yeah, these are 20.838. Yeah, I mean, 48.40 out of Bourne Implement, Kipton, Ohio. Old 29.50, somebody was plowing some snow with this sucker. And four-wheel drive, front-wheel assist. Got the yellow, old yeller tractor supply seat on there. I'll walk around the back. Because if I don't, somebody will be like, what the back of it look like? Well, now you know. And your outlets are being utilized. It's got a free floater there, so I guess mix and match, cat two hitch. 2950, is this the John Deere model that uh ended up having transmission problems i don't know i don't remember but yep we got a date right here old 522 from there you should know what to do oh we get our second red 460 gasser and uh i don't know what somebody did there looks like they put Bondo? I mean, yeah. The old Senator Sassy Gas are right here. Big old bull. Got the big bull. You know the deal. Eat out of it. And these are all dry rotted. Fronts aren't really that great, although I'd run them for 10 years. Titans, I should add. Agri Power on the rear. And, you know, as bad as these are, they're still better than what I have on my M. <laughs> now, this is interesting. Okay, they must have lost their original supports. Pulling too much? I, I don't know, because they got top links there, and then they rigged this up, welded it down. And honestly, looking at it, it's probably stronger than factory. <laughs> I don't do sharp corners, though, like this. This is dangerous. You know, you're... you. you you know, you step in here across the middle of the night and you just slide, just absolutely gouge your knee open. So that would get a grinder to it. Cut and ground and round. Does have a rear remote. So, you know, ah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, not, 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 he, not against the 460s. Just, um, I got enough gassers to make a mule puke. But here it is. And I don't even know the item number. Here's a white 4150. Craig Rasnick, this is right up your alley. I like the step option there. Yep. Let's get to the rear. I am not checking hours on most of these. Oh, okay. Just in time it wore out. But again, that weld's probably... Stronger than factory. <laughs> Two remotes. Two for the price of one. Yeah, thousand PTO. Skins ain't no good, but geez, how good do they have to be? Four wheel drive. Let's keep the drive alive. A couple batteries on there. And, you know, we're going to hear these start. Now, one thing I will tell you last year was it was quite, kind of torturous, man. They ran one ring. And they were on smalls for, I don't know, if I said two hours, I probably wouldn't be inaccurate in saying so. And this year they're going to run two rings. So, and also I should note there's a chance that they will be bringing in maybe, you know, another tractor or two or three or something like that. I wanted to get this done today because 
we got some foul weather coming, man. All right, this looks like item 813, little 504 gasser, um, new rain cap. It's got the metal fuel filter. I mean, I guess it's better than not having one. We're a little bit wet at the carb. That doesn't bother me any. I mean, they sit, they grow gremlins. Uh, what's in the bowl could be indicative of what's in the tank. We know that. Um, Yep, just a good little, I guess, honest gas tractor, 14928s on the utility. Cat 1 hitch, 541 remote. Yep, I just, I, I don't have a use for anything like this. Uh, being a row crop guy, I mean, best case scenario, it would end up with a loader or something on it. But at that point in time, what are you going to lift now? My question is, why? Why, why, why? Hmm. Well, you're seeing what I'm seeing. The plugs look new. I I'm batting it probably fires up. And there you go. Item 832. This is 684 International Torque Amplifier. And she rough. She just rough. Um, to be honest with you, it's been the roughest of the tractors so far that I've even mentioned but the rear skins aren't terrifying 40 to 50 percent skin on there Titans but yeah oh cool somebody painted the chimney black I hope it's high temp paint <laughs> even that high temp paint man it's still it don't it don't take the heat like it they say it should yeah Looks cat tooey to me. Uh uh ooey to me. And you guys ought to know the deal by now. Yeah, I mean Yeah, it's 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 wet. Stop. Tractor supply seat. Bright and shiny paint. I mean There you go. Now here you go, Mad Farmer. We got a Ford 7710, a big fat hen. One thing I've always liked about the Fords, at least in these models and, and, and other models, is big platform. Easy on, easy off, big old platform on there. Um, skins aren't bad on this. 18438s, set up for the snap-on, clamp-on duels because you don't really have the axle option on that. Cat 2, 540, at least two remotes and a spot to set another one up. Yeah, the old 77 tenner. Just walk around here. Yeah, I need a pretty good tractors. I mean, I don't know. Let's see if we can see a tractor number on there 618579 or wait is that a B I don't know it looks like a letter B maybe B C Jeez. and this is with glasses on so yeah things are happening man all right doesn't look bad I mean if you're just buying paint this would maybe be one you'd be okay with 2840 I can't remember if we saw one of these sell down in Fredericksburg or not. Got the, uh, they're actually implement tires on there. I wouldn't call those the four ribs. I'd call those implements, and the skins are really good. Yes, sir, Ray, 18434s. Decent platform. Seat's a cheap tractor supply seat. Cat 2, 540, dual remote. Yeah, okay. Plow side, not so much. I mean, it's still okay. Again, you know, a guy like me runs that 10 years, but, yep. Armstrong on that side. Where's that? Yeah. 379er, 147, Charlie Delta. There you go. Oh, 
we got the old Mass Titus Ferguson 1155 Perkins to keep the drive alive. Um, I've heard nothing, nothing bad about these tractors. 1100s, 1155s, nothing bad. I've heard nothing. Anybody ever say anything bad about them? Not even John Deere guys. Set up the plug in, plug it in, plug it in. Um, rear skins aren't good. Looks like he maybe took us down a road. They're probably, I don't know, let me be nice, 20%. Um, big old three-point on there. Dual remotes, 540. Maybe even the original top link. I don't know. You Massey Ferguson guys will know. Huh, it's weird. It's like, probably didn't do a lot of plowing with it, like traditional mold board, because this, this side is better than the non-furrow side. So, yeah. There you go. It's not a bad looking tractor. That's 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 what I'll tell you. Um, you know, and these things usually don't bring big money. Sometimes they do, but, you know, average in, average out, they don't. And I don't know what this will go horsepower wise, 1155. I mean, am I being unrealistic saying 130, 140 horsepower? Of course, it's always different, you know, engine versus you know, PTO, etc. but yeah, hey, the cab, cab looks pretty good. Looks like he's got a new windshield wiper up there. All right, here you go, Mad Farmer. 530 John Deere power steering. Steers are good enough. Rears are actually good enough, but they're, uh, as the prim and proper would say, weather checked. It's weird because, you know, still got new and in, indicative of being new tires, but then must have sat out. I, I don't know. Maybe did, maybe didn't, but yeah. No 5.30. Going to the back here, and this, this is Cat, Cat 2, 5.40. Rear remote. I mean, it, it's a useful tractor. And it is. It's got hydraulics, it's got three-point, it's got PTO, it's got levers. You can play and you'll be good to go. Um, huh, yeah, it, the skins aren't horrible. There you go. Give you greenies something to nibble on every once in a while. Well, Case IH Maxim 125 and uh, pretty new skins, pretty new skins. I mean, last me my lifetime, but there's a lot of stuff written on that sheet hanging on the door and we're gonna go look at it um we just saw a 200 sell for about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars this ain't gonna go that but I'm sure they'll try to get it there 16 speed power shift 125 six six thousand four hundred twenty five hours that won't help its cause the 200 that sold had like 11 or 1200 hours on it so um, and the reason that was is because it was never disconnected from, I believe, Baylor. So, panorama roof, three sets of remotes, Jensen radio. Yeah, you, you can have all these bells and whistles, all this writing and all this stuff. Bloop! It goes back to right there always. Bloop! Hours. You know, pre-def. Okay. That's a big circle. That's a circle. You know bar axles yeah these are big skins on here biggins 42 inch firestone so i mean no cheap cheap dates cat three yeah i mean you can see it's this is a nice machine if you were a case ih guy this this could be one for you i don't know 6400 6, hours it's not it's not a lot of hours if it was maintained you know a lot of these, I mean, especially pre-def and all that, you should be able to get 10,000 hours off these machines if you just maintain them. You know, don't go two years and not change your oil. Don't go three years. Oh, maybe I'll get away. It still sounds good. Yeah, this is clean. It's been pressure washed. I'm sure of it. Pressure washed and put away. 
clean item 820 okay this will this will put a little pep in my step old ac 175 diesel coming with the front weights <laughs> i don't know i item 823 for you online bidders but one two three four five six front weights let's call them 100 pounds a piece even if they aren't you can correct me in the comment section and i won't care good enough steers good enough rears my word those those rice and cane specials there this is a cool tractor this is this is just honestly a good to me antique to you maybe not but yeah really cool decent everything about it i mean obviously it's been pressure washed but you know they fire it up and it sounds as good as it looks it could be for you 18 428 rear again the big old paddle wheels i mean good grief the the, the tread depth's got to be close to four inches <laughs> and they are matching so yep door remotes 540 three point you know it's, this has been i'm guessing rigged up <laughs> i mean it's good enough though man the guy didn't do a bad job you know he worked with what he had he welded it on there and it will work i'd probably throw something on top of that bolt though there you go so, well yeah you can see what it once was that's all right yeah probably one of the better tractors that we've looked at so far bf goodrich on the rear by the way and there's your date with 5,846 hours changed at April Fool's Day. So did he or didn't he? Is that an April Fool's joke? We don't know. Old TW35 weights hanging underneath. And there's a lot of them. Firestone in the front. Um, Trelleborg in the rear. Yeah, I don't know. Some Megan's there too. They're 38s. But yeah, old TW35. Easy in. You don't see too many Fords or John Deere tractors abused and misused. You don't. If you see if you see beat up tractors of this time frame, it's almost always international, and I don't know why that is. It's just a different mentality as far as you know taking care of your equipment it's like good grief didn't pay enough for it to take care of it i can see the radio climate control and stuff in there yeah yeah that's a 540 looks like the original top link tons of remotes i mean and more room to grow <laughs> yeah it looks pretty good around yeah yeah it looks pretty clean in there you know somebody wisely cleaned it up before they brought it to the sale which you should always do along with a new battery i mean come on folks invest in you know even if you have to spend a couple hundred bucks in batteries you're gonna get 400 back because it started and sounded right oh a little 424 and uh I don't think I've ever seen one sell at auction. I think I've seen a 444 sell, but never a 424. New smoke pipe, newer seat, no armrests. That would drive me absolutely up a wall and back. Um, gasser. Rear skins are decent. Steers are okay. No remote. 540. Cat 1. I'm just showing everybody hello 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 oh, that's squishy that's a tube good year yeah no 424 this tractor here will probably keep you wanting for more the old Bodie m125x la 1601s big old bucket on there i don't know what is it eight foot good grief could be bigger all oh, they got some writing on the door so we got to go read it oh okay a thousand no 11 27 hours no one sat on the seat 
Okay. Through four wheel drive. Oils changed by Kubota dealer. Plastic on seat from factory. No one ever smoked in the tractor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I always said if I was gonna go buy a newer tractor, it would definitely be a Kubota. That's just me for what's out there. Um, yeah, 540. You know, it's not old enough for, you know, it to be impressive to have original stuff on it. It's like, it should still have original stuff. There you go. Comes with an oil filter. Yeah, this is clean. This is clean. The, the cab is clean. What this will go for, I don't know. I don't know. I, I saw one uh, at a at a farm auction back in December sell for pretty stupid money. Uh, it was like $75,000 or something. But having said that, it had very low hours and appeared to be very maintained. So whoever bought that, they bought a, a lifetime tractor that they can pass down to their kids and maybe grandkids. Oh, something more for you greenies to nibble on a John Deere M. And not much doubt what they were using it for, that's for sure. Chains and... Now, if you don't want comfort, there you go. A little piece of slivery plywood. <laughs> not much to it, really. Just, just something, you know, it's... A, uh, you know, other than plowing with us, I don't know what you really do with it. I don't. But it's here. Item 829. Massey Ferguson 135 gasser. We've seen a slew of these sell. Um, I believe last year there might have been a, a Massey 135 diesel here. It required ether to, to start, so it needed an overhaul. Um, today's about 75 degrees. I would expect any of these machines to start on demand in those temperatures. If not, then there's a problem. Looks like maybe somebody had replaced the carburetor at one point in time. It actually looks... Oh, that's a Zenith. Made in USA. At least the bottom piece is. You know, so... Yeah, there you go. Uh-oh, Oliver 550. And I know for a fact I got some Oliver nuts on my channel so we're definitely going to look at this pretty good size carburetor little utility sucker um oh let's squat down serial number one one nine four seven seven and then there's a dash and i think it's five one nine all right yep good years but they're they're tore up there to her up finish mower they sweeten the pot a little bit for you yeah. you know I, I assume that this was used I mean so, you know together sometimes they'll just hey throw that on there make it look like we were using it for that I mean doesn't mean it was doesn't mean it wasn't I don't know I wasn't there oh it's got extra hitch well it's got the actual hitch and stuff on there in case you want to actually pull something or you can stick a bar across there as long as it ain't too much. Yeah. Huh. Is this yellow underneath? And it's got this number right here. I almost wonder if this wasn't like a state or a township tractor at one point in time. I don't know. That new rain cap on the straight pipe. Poor man's chrome stack. I love saying that because it gets under, oh, I don't know, one or two of you skin. Something like that. Now, I cannot tell you if this is fully restored. Everybody's got their own definition. I'm going to tell you no. Uh, the front steers are dry rotted, but the paint on this is pretty good. New rain cap, new caps up top, um, and brand new skins on the rear. But, but it does look good. New seat, covered in plastic. John Deere 520 power steering. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're going to paint it, you might as well put a red cap on there. Get all the Christmas colors in place. Yeah. BF Goodrich. 
Yep, 540. Remote in the rear. Yeah, this be, you know, the date and time this thing come out, it was, it was something. You know, it was. I mean, it's got pretty much everything you'd want in a, I guess, tractor this size. And there you go. Sediment bowl looks clean, clean, clean. I'll give you that much. Groove, but groove, but not abused, I guess. The greenies are gonna know, man. You just do. You, you greenies, man. You're on it, like blue bonnet on your bread. All right. So this is the one without the paint, the wide front, 520. And uh, also a new seat or newer seat. Um, I, I'm really not sure why you need the plastic on there. Uh, really, this is you know not not good skins on there. And these are 136, 36s. So <laughs> I'd never need to replace those in my life. They're brand new. These ones here are 38s. They're Firestone 12.4. 42s so I'm some tall suckers but yeah the old 520 same situation same setup just doesn't look as pretty as the other one there you go power steering too sediment bowl's got just a wee hair bit of sediment in it but it's light stuff, looks like a new coil was thrown on there. Come here, do the old, this one's not as, as worn on. So, I don't know, not that it matters to me, you know I won't be buying it, but you might be. Always combines at this sales, 4420, it's got the corn head on it. And uh, 827's the item number, something written on it, we'll go over and read that, but I don't know, I mean, buy a combine this old at an auction and th these things are cash cows i mean they're they're albatrosses you can just dump endless amounts of money you change 10 bearings you got 10 more to change and then by the time you change that second 10 you gotta go back and rechange the first 10 it's just it's terrible but yeah somebody will pick it up maybe maybe just luck out and get a good one john deere 9560 sts buddy seat up top looks pretty clean you know i'm sure it's i'm sure it's field ready they're gonna ask a bundle of money for it so you better be doing some acres oh glencoe ss 7400 oh farmhand and um this looks like a nine shank from here unless i miscounted but a lot of you guys when i was bidding on that 986 down at the boca auction you were like oh we pull nine shank yeah but you don't pull a disc chisel these are this is a this is a different pole than just a, a three-point hitch chisel plow you drop in the ground and go there's some weight to this sucker and it's going to take i mean i'd be extremely comfortable pulling this with say a 1586 Ooh, i've always wanted one but i've never pulled the trigger on one because i don't really have rocks in my field i don't know i think i pulled so many out of the dinosaur eggs out of the fields over the years i just i get one here and there but not never justification to buy a rock picker but this looks cool man a little hydraulic dump rock picker decent skins on there old mp tires yeah what the heck that would definitely do the trick i mean uh you know again in my farm it's it's a matter of running a four-wheeler out in a wagon for 30 40 minutes and, and you're done but this would be cool cool video who knows it better not go cheap because i'm cheap and i like my money more than i like stupid things got a pretty nice looking 510 grain drill here i did pop the back box i did pop this box they both look solid now i haven't studied that back box i just gave it a quick glance so really where you want to look the corners and the seams but this looks all intact man um you know it doesn't have the marker tires on there but as low as that tongue sits there is actually a jack there i don't know why you would sit it that low um other than the fact that maybe the jack doesn't work 
but yeah we'll just walk around and i can just tell you the grass cedar look clean inside old five tenner yeah it's got the old style press wheels the thin ones this one's missing a skin <laughs> Put an 18434 on there and you'll be good to go. Maybe even a 36 inch. Yeah, it's missing a couple on there. It would need rectified, but yeah. 510. Yeah, and you look in the look in the back from what I'm seeing, it looks good on this side. And probably that side too. Oh, we got a white semi mount, what appears to be a 416 setup, and a douchebag at 6 o'clock. There's a lot of them around here, too. And had an old buddy that bought one of these, and it was in mint condition. Um, the way he takes care of stuff, or lack thereof, I wouldn't doubt this is his that he brought here. Um, got the caribou food all over it and you know not that it's that big of a deal but I was at the plow day and we were talking about you know the, would you rather restore a tractor or a plow and most of them guys are like I'd rather just run the tractor I got and have a restored plow yeah old white man they're money when it comes to plows mold boards oh eventually I'll get a side by side but for now I'll stick with a four wheeler Kawasaki can-am um ssr whatever that means soviet socialist republic wouldn't surprise me polaris there you go i'm a i'm a haunt when it comes to side by sides i'm a honda polaris guy i don't care for and this is a ranger crew i don't care for their four-wheelers but i i like their I like the Rangers. The old two-seater Polaris. Item 147. This would be nice. If I was going to buy one, this would be a nice one. I'd like to hear it run. It's an 800. And so is this one. Except crew cab. I mean, the reason I haven't bought one really is because for my application, i got to get back in the woods. Pretty tight, crampy quarters. And you're just not going to get a side-by-side -side where I go. Kawasaki and I don't know what's that say on there oh it's Chinese Kazuma and a couple of these little Japanese little Nippon pieces of crap oh here you go you got a little John Deere 4020 mini and I uh, got the ag tires on the rear got the fake front weights on the front those those are wood but yeah there you go well there you go uh this auction is this saturday i believe it starts at 9 a.m tri-state auction um it's in elgin pennsylvania it does look like we're gonna have maybe some rain off and on subject to change you know we could go from 70 percent rain to zero by then it's a few days away so i don't know there, there's really nothing here that i want they have a one bottom plow type thing that I might bid on for for a friend but hey, hey nothing here for me I will come in video if you want me to and we'll do auction results I mean just because I'm not interested in any of the tractors doesn't mean you won't be so I guess we'll see you at the next video hit subscribe